Hey guys, it's Jillian Harris and today's vlog is all about talking trash. I've got some serious dirt for you guys about garbage. We actually started participating in this uh, campaign called Plastic Free July where um, our family actually attempted to go plastic free where we very viciously failed within basically the first day. Uh, we did uh, learn a lot uh, for Plastic Free July. We're going to be basically blogging about it for the whole month of August, what we learned, um, how we reduced, what we're changing, and some of our new favorite products that are going to be coming in place of plastic. Uh, we also uh, learned a lot about how we could reduce and recycle, but it had me thinking about where does our garbage actually go? When something goes in the trash, like a single-use plastic or even our food or diapers or whatever, where does it actually go? How long does it stay there for? Um, am I throwing the wrong things in the garbage? Like all this kind of stuff. So. It was a little bit busy of a month for me, so we are sending our intern Easton down to the landfill to ask a whole bunch of questions. You guys are gonna love her, she's super adorable. She's gonna ask all those burning questions about garbage and then we're gonna report back. Hey guys, it's Easton here. Jill wanted to learn about where her garbage goes when it actually leaves her house, so today we're gonna be doing a tour of the landfill. Okay, so you're back from the dump. How was I'm it? Back. It was awesome. It was great to see everything in person, and it was actually pretty crazy to see all of the trash and everything just piled up there. Did so, it, did it sink? No, it actually wasn't too bad. Really? I'm really surprised. Yeah, they have like kind of like a control system how they do. They keep it all in. Yeah. So they have like it's actually crazy how much work goes into keeping the landfill clean. So it does, so it's better for the environment. It's are there like random people dropping off their garbage or like garbage trucks or it like depends. So like the bigger um, industrial trucks like actually go down and they take it. And then when people like who bring their little pickup trucks and yeah. stuff, when they bring their garbage, they're actually get putting it in a pile. And then the big trucks that work at the landfill then take it to like the active face. Whereas then when all the garbage it goes and then they push that out into the landfill and spread it out and cover it and so forth. Do they cover it like every day? Like is there just like open garbage out there? Uh, they do. They do it in sections. Sections. So they go a little bit, spread a little yeah. bit, then go to the next section, spread the garbage, then cover it with the soil. And then like the soil, like compacting it down is how they keep the smell in and stuff. They get complaints sometimes, but they said they're actually pretty good for like not having too many complaints. So you saw, you and you asked them that there's only like 70 to 90 years left of this specific landfill. Of land this cell. specific landfill. And then it's full and then they don't know what's going And then I it. asked and I was like, so what happens next? And they, they, he said, I don't know, it's not my job, I don't know. So basically after like 75 years, Basically, when Leo's an old man, we're not going to know where to put our garbage. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's probably lots more places in Kelowna yeah. that we could put the garbage. But how big, like, do you know how big the actual landfill is? No, I don't know exactly how big it is, yeah. but it's massive. massive. It's and massive. that's just all garbage. Yeah, and right now they're, they are clearing a whole new area. And it's like a big area. Um, and it's only going to take four years to fill. How long is that garbage there for? I don't know. Forever? Yeah. And like... Some stuff breaks down, but some stuff doesn't, yeah. especially if it's in a plastic some garbage stuff, bag. Like, there was, like, we saw, like, still plastic, like, poking out, because it's all covered. Like, it yeah. kind of looks like a big mountain, but you can still see, like, some garbage, like, poking out and stuff, and so that's been there for, like, for, like, a long time. Do you know how long that landfill has been there since? Since 1966. Kind of be fun to go through and, like, find garbage from 1966. Yeah, it's crazy. And see what, like, people... Because some of it will then. never decompose fully. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So like pretty much the garbage that I've used my entire life here so that, is sitting in that pile. So that's something that I was like thinking about every single time I take up my garbage bag. I was thinking like what in here is literally going to be here mm -hmm. on this planet for the rest of my life. So that's why I started getting like like 
biodegradable garbage bags, but then what is in my garbage bag? Yeah. Every time I put something in there, I'm like, this is going to be here forever. Mm -hmm. And like ever since I was little, like when I was little and I had like a juice box and I threw in the garbage, that's probably still in a landfill. Mm -hmm. They do have a section which is really cool and it's called like their recoverables, which is basically the recycling that happens at the landfill. So do people go through the garbage? Or? No, it's just so, that's like your green waste bin. So like right. your leaves, like your yard waste, like your fruit dropping. So like... They use your, that for compost? They use that for like a, like a, it's like a big composting station and they turn that into like soils that they actually sell to people and then people use that. It's actually really cool. They have like a huge section with like like um, stacks and stacks of different kinds of like soils that they repurpose and like reuse. So that's something else I learned this month too is how to properly dispose of things. So like we used to actually, this is so embarrassing, but we used to go through like a garbage bag a day full of stuff and now we go through like a garbage bag a week because I'm properly sorting my garbage. Yeah. And so that's where I think one of those things, a lot of things you put in the garbage that actually can be properly reused mm -hmm. or recycled, like yeah. that kind of stuff. Interesting. Yeah, and that's another thing too is like people need, like that's one of the biggest mistakes is people putting the wrong garbage yes. with other things because then it contaminates yeah, the whole thing. Everything. Yeah, especially with like the recoverables. If some, if your recoverables, like your green waste gets um, mixed, in. mixed in or contaminated, they can't use it for recoverables anymore. Right. And then also doesn't it um, make a difference too about the amount of gases? Like if there's too much green waste or too much organic waste in your garbage, then it increases the amount of gases and the gases are like dangerous for the environment. Yeah, the, 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 the landfill gas that mm -hmm. they, um, that it produces can actually heat 600 um, homes a year. Um, I was almost crying once when I um, was in Chicago and we were driving to Michigan and we're on that highway and there was like these like rolling hills right mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden there's like these little like chimneys coming around the rolling hills and I was like staring at them thinking what is this and then realized it was just miles and miles and miles of landfill yeah and they had to have all these little chimneys to like excrete the gases or whatever and I almost started crying I'm like this is so horrible yeah like all this stuff that we're just like tossing out and like whatever yeah it's crazy and they have you think it was something like 18 kilometers worth of pipes installed to deal with the landfill gas. So remember when you throw something out, you're actually not throwing it out. You're just relocating it to a basically bigger a field, pile. Basically a field, yeah. a bigger so it's pile. basically your own garbage is going into everyone's garbage. Yeah, but it's not going anywhere except for staying on our planet Earth. So, yeah. so it definitely made me think it? twice. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm like, I feel so guilty now because before I was like, don't need this, don't need this. But then yeah. it's like, it really makes you think. And like just seeing that active face of like, all the garbage piled up yeah because you can't really tell how much garbage is in there because it's all it's like a big mountain and covered with soil and stuff but seeing like the active face where active face called, is like the current garbage. the current garbage yeah. of what people are bringing in right now and yeah. then they're taking that and spreading it out over the line of right. like that was scary like and that's just probably in the last like month mm -hmm. yeah Okay, so are we going to keep learning more? Next, we want to go as a team to learn all about recyclables because that's a whole, whole other topic. Yes. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Are you in? Or can you try to reduce your garbage? Are you loving this topic? Do you want to hear more about it? Please say yes. Please share this. Please comment below. Please subscribe. Uh, follow Easton on Instagram. Uh, tell us what you think. Tell us how you've reduced uh, garbage and uh, in your household and what you're doing to make a difference. And thank you so much for watching today. Bye. Bye. <laughs>